Two conducting spherical shells A and B of radii R and 2R are kept for far apart and charged to the same charge density sigma. They are connected by a wire. Obtain an expression for final potential of shell A. So in this question, uh, there are two shells A and B, uh, which is having the radius of R and 2R, are kept far apart and charged to the same charge density sigma. So the charge density sigma is same. So let us say the charge on the shell A, QA will be equal to 4 by R square into sigma. And charge on the shell B will be equal to, QB is equal to 4 pi into 2 R whole square into sigma V. So if you calculate this, 16 pi R square sigma V. So we got the value of QA and QB. Then uh, after uh, charging them, we are connecting them by a wire. So when you connect them by a wire, we know that uh, their potential will become equal. So the charges will redistribute and after that their potential will become same. So if the potentials are same, then we can say VA is equal to VB after connecting. So we can say what will be the potential of VA? Charge will redistribute. So we can say the uh, charge QA and QB will not be the same. So 1 by 4 by epsilon naught, let us mark the charge on the first shell as QA dash by R which will be equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught QB dash by 4 uh, because their charges will be distributed so we cannot say that the charges are equal that is why we have written them as QA dash and QB dash. If you simplify them we can see that some common terms will get cancelled 1 by 4 by epsilon 0, 1 by 4 epsilon 0, R and R will get cancelled. So you will be getting Q B dash is equal to 2 Q A dash. So we got one relation connecting them. And our final aim is to find out the value of B A. So for that, uh, we got a relation connecting Q B dash and Q A. And we need to find the value of Q A uh, so that we can Q A dash so that we can find, find the final charge. So, for finding that, uh, we need we know one more thing. The before charging them, the before connecting them, the charges were Q A and Q B. So, what will be the total charge before connecting Q A plus Q B? And what is the total charge after connecting Q B dash plus Q A dash? And uh, from this, uh, Q B dash is equal to two Q A. We can substitute the value. That is, Q B dash is 2QA. So 2QA dash plus 2A dash. So this will become 3QA dash. We want to write it in terms of A so that our calculation will be easier. That is why I have just eliminated QB. So we got 3QA dash is equal to QA plus QB. This is another relation. And you know the value of QA and QB. What is the value of QA and QB? QA is 4 by R square sigma and QB is uh, 16 by R square sigma which is equal to 3 Q A dash. We want that this final charge of A in terms of sigma. That is why we have done this um, calculation. So now from this we can say 20 by R square sigma is equal to 3 Q A dash. So Q A dash will be equal to 20 by 3 by R square sigma. So we got the charge now we can calculate the potential. So what will be the final potential? That is VA is equal to um, 1 by 4 by epsilon naught QA dash by R. So 1 by 4 by epsilon naught QA dash is 20 by 3 by R square sigma divided by R. So once you simplify this, we will be getting VA is equal to uh, this 4 and 20 will get cancelled, pi will get cancelled, r also will get cancelled. So after simplification, we will be getting 5 sigma r divided by 3 epsilon. So this is the final answer for this question. V is equal to 5 sigma r by 3 epsilon.